Hey everybody, how's it going? It's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. And in today's video, I've got a garage sale slash thrift store haul video, <clears throat> pardon me, jewelry haul. Uh, this is actually a continuation of the jewelry haul I started a couple days ago where I got a stomach ache and I had to like bail. And today I've got a raging headache, so this ought to be fun. <laughs> but it's doing way better. It's It's been really rough, but I don't normally get headaches. So how do you, I don't know. Anyway, those of you who suffer with migraines regularly, I, my heart goes out to you, but that has nothing to do with jewelry. So this is the rest of the jewelry haul that I got um, from a couple garage sales. And then I went to this um, charity shop, this local charity shop where they had necklaces and bracelets where buy one, get one free um, and everything else was just normal price. So when you see something, just know if it's a necklace or a bracelet, I got bought one, got one free. So there's that. Okay. Hello, Julie. I am live. If you're watching this later and you're like, darn, I missed. Um, definitely go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it so that you don't miss a video. And I'm trying to be better about posting it on um, my Facebook page too, because I did have a few people saying I'm not getting notified. So I, I'm trying to be way better at posting it on my Facebook page, Texas Gal Treasures. And in the, the jewelry group, Texas Gals Jewelry Lover. So hello, everybody in the chat. Thanks so much for coming. Hi, Julie, a bunch of carrots. Hi, Picky Chicken, Jennifer. Hello, Frankie. Hi, Vintage Rochelle. Hello. Oh, I said Frankie. Oh, good with the migraines. Hello, Francis. Cancer sucks. And yes, Picky Chick. Oh, were you finding? Oh, man. We actually did go to Savers this morning. Um, one of my guys and my husband are gone camping. And so my little one and I went and we hit savers there was a jewelry jar it was like this beautiful little cutesy thing like but they wanted 10 bucks and it was like plastic junk in it so i passed i'm kind of like chomping at the bit to find another one even though i've got like a box of them over here because you know i don't know i just haven't found one in a while okay so let's get started with this haul video so this this is a local charity shop, which I really like going to. I don't need it too often, um, but I, they usually have pretty good sales. One time I went and it, every all the jewelry was a third off, and then this time it was buy one, get one half off. So I got this necklace. Um, so it was four bucks, whether it was free or not. And it's this yellow multi-strand. I just loved it because I don't find it. Oh, it's actually, actually look, look good with this dress. I don't find a lot of yellow stuff. And here comes Mimi. She's like, hey. I'm going to come jump on plastic bags. Hello. Hi, if I missed you in the chat. Hello, oh, Sonia, Alexandria. Hi, Treasure Land, Shauna, and Granny Josie, and Nora. Do not sharpen your claws on my chair. Okay. So, yeah, that's the reason I got this one, um, because I don't see a ton of yellow stuff, and I really like the multi-strand of it. I've got a, quite the shadow with my computer there. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay. So, I'll try to explain why I picked up what I did. Um, as we go as well. So I got these clip-on earrings. Um, 250 is what I paid for those. But if you take a look at them, they're these really cool crests. And I did not look to see if there was any kind of maker's mark on them. I just thought they were good heavens, cat. She's like, I'm going to disturb you in any way I possibly can today. She's right there by a vase too. And she's most of my cats are really careful about stuff. But she's like, I'm here. Everything else move. Get out of my way, vase. And she's that kind of cat that'll just knock it off. Aren't they pretty? I really liked them. So, again, I don't see any kind of maker's mark on them, but they're really cool. Yeah. So $250 on those. Um, I could guess on how much I would list it for, but I'm really not sure. Uh, okay. And then rings were a dollar. So I, I got – there were three of these. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to – Freak out on her. Can I have something to throw at her? Hang on. Get. Nope. She wasn't phased. She's about to knock down a bunch of stuff. She's climbing into a box of glasses. I'm going to throw this skeleton balloon at her. Yeah, you. What are you doing? She's looking at me. She knows. I would like to show you. She's a black cat, so I'm not sure you'll be able to see her. Do you see that the, where is it on here? You can't see. So there's like a tub, a blue tub. There's some lamps in front of it right over there. And her little eye and black tail is poking out of it. 
see you. I'm watching you. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this is going to make it interesting. I don't have, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to try to ignore her. She's trying to get my attention apparently. You see her? Uh, yeah, I know. And she's got one little eye poking out, looking at me. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. So yeah, all the rings were a dollar. There were three of these. So I'll have to pull them out as I show you, as I do. Um, but this is glass. So some kind of, you know, glass ring, which I thought was really cool. Oh, she's getting out. Okay, y'all. Watch her. Watch her. Mimi, get away from that. Get away from that. I'm going to throw something else at you. What can I throw at you? Ooh, I hate her. Well, she got down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> She's okay. Yeah, you. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> I promise I don't hurt my, my <laughs> I promise I don't hurt my cat. <laughs> it's a fluke that I hit her. <laughs> I'm going to get so much hate on this video now. I love my cat. Trust me, she sleeps with me every night. She was about to knock that thing over. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, she left now. Okay. Now, <laughs> I promise she's my baby girl. I don't hurt her. <laughs> and I really didn't think I would hit her. Okay. <laughs> people, people go nuts over animals. Trust me, I have four cats, so I, I'm a cat lover. I'm not a cat hater. Okay, okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I did get all of the the little glass rings they had like that because I thought they were so pretty. They kind of look like little green mushrooms. I, anyway, it was a plastic bag. Yeah, it was a plastic bag. <laughs> you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. She lets me sleep with her. <laughs> Again, apologies for this shadow we've got working with the, uh, the video today. I don't have my light set up still. I know I keep saying I'm going to. This is a Monet brooch right there. I just thought it was really, I don't, I don't want to say Edwardian-esque, -esque, but I don't know. I liked it, so. So there's that. Um, I'm holding off because I did get some men's accessories too. Speaking of cats, Hello, um, I got some cat earrings. Generally, if I find cat or animal, do cat, dog stuff, any kind of figural stuff, I'll pick it up. Um, so these were $3 and the little kitty cat with a ball of string earrings. Um, oh, thanks, Thrift Shop Hustler. Oh, I didn't see you come in. Hello. And we are doing merch talk again. We had merch talk this week on Chris's channel. But we're going to have it on my channel this week. And Chris isn't going to be there. So whatever. Fine. We'll get it all worked out. I'm going to try to start doing it regularly again. If Chris doesn't mind. Because I know he's kind of been keeping the flame alive over there. He's been blowing air into it as much as he can. <laughs> um, so and I appreciate that. But hopefully soon we'll get the ball rolling and we'll, we'll get things straight again. Yes. Um, okay. Oh, hey, Debbie. I know I probably, if I miss saying hi to you, hi, everybody. Your kids have a school thing. That's why you need a homeschool. Then your school thing is every day <laughs> at home. <laughs> All right. So the next set, this was $2.50. Again, necklaces were buy one, get one free. So it was a necklace and earring set. So look at this. I just thought it was so, like, big and pink and matchy for 250 that was a really good price i thought so there are the earrings i feel like i'm not showing them very well it's it's a lot to hold because they're all connected so that's the earrings they're really hangy hangy downy earrings big like so and then there's that piece and there is a little hang tag if i can get to it and find my loop i couldn't see what it was in the store uh nwt NWT, right? Really gypsy. So there's that. Okay. So, and I mean, good prices, right? Okay. So here's another one that I got that kind of, it has that amber look to it, but they're not amber. They are, I mean, I think they're, they're glass, you know, but they are trying to look kind of amber or, um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Something else, not tiger's eye, but 
So uh, I can't think of the word. It's okay. It's okay. So there's this again, necklaces were buy one, get one free hangy downy. That's, that's the keyword that I will certainly use. <laughs> They're very hangy downy. <laughs> hi, Bougie Bear. Hi, hi. Oh, and again, I, I know I miss people and I like to say hi to everybody. And I just didn't get to say hi to everybody. I'm sorry if I missed you. Um, yeah, go over there and hit that thumbs up. We've got 46 friends watching. Tortoise, that's what that's the word I'm looking for. I'm telling you, this headache, look, I didn't even put on very much makeup or anything today. I just like, I'm just gonna come on. You, if you love me, you'll just take me as I am. Okay. Um, so there's that. This is how bad it was. We have a birthday party later, and um we left the house, and thank goodness I checked because I thought it was at 10. And it's really at 1.30. So, yeah, it better be at 1.30. Watch it be at 1 and I'm off again. I'm going to check right now. This is how my day has been. I'm double checking the time. This is I'm the best at doing haul videos and staying on task. <laughs> because now I'm like, oh, gosh. Okay, 1.30. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I'll start second-guessing myself. Okay, so next up, I got... This, oh my, okay, pancake, don't. I've already dealt with Mimi. They don't normally do this, do they? Or do they? Oh gosh, this is gonna be one of those videos, I'm afraid. Pancake, come here, come here. Come here, no, come here. Okay, let's see what pancake's up to. He is now, well, sorry about my messy worker and where are you, Pancake? Can you see him? Where is he? See him over there? Okay, you can't see my hand. There he is. And he was trying to jump up there. And that's why I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. Not now. Okay. Mommy must ask treats. Yeah. Yeah, Pancake, Pancake likes to come sleep with me too, so. I know, right? Doors. But then you know what they do? They sit outside the door and meow and go crazy. Yeah. Why did we name him Pancake? Because when we got him, he was really floppy and really sweet. So he was floppy and sweet like a pancake. Yeah. Yes, they do. I'm here. I'm only here all day, every day. They need my attention. It's like my children. Okay, two bucks. Let's do this. Um, but again, buy one, get one free on the bracelets. And I really liked the chain, the link, um, bracelet. I really, really liked that. It's, it was different because it wasn't just the same kind of link all the way around. It had these pieces like so, and keywords are failing me apparently today. That's okay. All right. Now these two necklaces were connected, but I really only wanted one of them. It was $2.50 for the two of these necklaces. And the one I really wanted was this like green one. It's got like this green kind of in rust color. It's, I don't know if you can see. It's almost kind of sparkly inside too. It's kind of hard to tell. But they're just plastic beads, but I just had not seen anything quite like them before. I really liked them. So there's those. And then the other one was this one which isn't not my style, but it is certainly someone's style, you know, with the natural like seeds and stuff like that. So both of those were connected for 250. Again, buy one, get one free. And then these are some silver earrings with in, inlaid black something. And they were 250, but you know, I figured for some silver earrings, I didn't test them or anything, but they're all tarn, you can see the back. They're all tarnished up and all that. Plastic bean. Oh, yes. I have sold. Uh, and that's the thing. Like, I have challenged myself to sell. Like, I've sold these plastic. It was like plastic pink beads. I know I've talked about it before. And I was like, I'm just going to see if I can sell. I mean, they sold for like twelve fifty or something like that. But I was like, I bought them for, I don't know, 50 cents or a quarter. So that's a pretty good return on profit, I think. And I've sold, I mean, I've sold like the stretchy, like, red, white, and blue American flag bracelet. I think I sold it for 10 bucks. Okay, here's another one. This is a really nice one I got for 250. And this is the pendant. And it's, I, I think it's a 
garnet in there or a garnet like stone anyway it's so dark where's my phone but the but when i'm looking through it with the light it's red and i'm pretty sure that's set in silver i have a ring that my sister gave me a million billion years ago that's a it's a garnet and it's so dark kind of like this it's so dark red that it's almost black i'm trying to see if i can see can you see the red when you get the light going through it so like so so um i did not look now i don't think the chain the chain is tarnished up but i don't think it's silver at all it's got a maker's mark on the chain let me see hang on there's a hang tag anyway oh it's a bear that's another one that we were talking about last week somebody was like that's a really good san francisco michelle bear i think i probably have the name wrong it's b-a-e-r um but then i don't i don't think this goes with it like I, it's because that is kind of like a gold wash over silver and this one does not appear to have that same gold wash so because of the way it's made and because of the darkness of it i wouldn't be surprised if it really was a garnet maybe i'm just yeah um kind of like the uh, brassy look I so I mean like I wouldn't be surprised because generally I would think if someone was gonna do like a faux like a faux garnet they would want it to look red like people like with garnets I don't know I I'm guessing on that one but yeah when I hold it up I like it yeah anyway um fingers crossed yeah right so it's pretty nice I'll have to um do a little more digging let me just like, get my magnet on it I mean just to see. I don't see any kind of marks. Here comes Leia. What is over there, y'all? There. Now Leia's over there. And yes, I have a million cats. Now she's over there. Okay, whatever. I guess it's just, I have a bunch of men's accessories I'm putting down over here. Leia doesn't usually do this. She doesn't usually fuss with stuff. And she's a very delicate, careful kitty cat. How can I test for garnet? I don't know. I don't know. That'll be some research I have to do. But I mean, generally, I would think. What are you doing, Leia? She's not usually one to come and mess with stuff. Um, you know, the back part is open, so the light can catch it. It's really dark. And my, I mean, my thought process would be like, if someone was going to do like a simulated garnet, they would want it to look red, so people would know, like, oh, it's supposed to be a garnet. But this one's so dark. Well, I'm not sure. So, oh, at least I don't worry about her breaking stuff. Watch her do it now. Okay, so then there are these. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, just like in diamonds, it's clarity and color. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So again, these were two bucks. Don't even lay ya. What? There must be something. Look at her. Where is she? She's standing up over there, getting ready to jump. Where all those glass sugar shakers are Leia don't do it I don't know what's going on with these cats today I just don't I just don't okay um but I like getting this kind of gold um that kind of matte kind of brushed kind of gold look no there's another word for that but it's like a matte gold not like a super shiny um I like it personally and so I just figure somebody else would too. So anyway, it looks, um, I better not have any kind of mouse. The catnip, there might be catnip on the shelf. There's milk duds on that shelf. <laughs> That's where I had my milk, my milk duds. <laughs> if I need like a little sweet, I can just eat like two milk duds. Okay, speaking of cats, look at this really cute brooch. So it's this, it's almost like a little painted enamel. I don't know that it's enamel though, but it's painted. Um, it's ceramic, that's for sure. Ceramic, that's what I'm thinking. And then it's got a little silver fish fixed on there. Oh, she did it. Leia. Okay. Now what? Right? Now what? Anyway. Here we go. Uh-oh. It's Catterday. Yep, that's it. So I, I don't know. I think it's hand done because you can see the glue on the back of this. Anyway, it's pretty cute, though, with all the colors. Now she's jumping down. Okay, I'm giving you a play-by-play. -play. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
moving on. Um, I also picked up these earrings, which I like to pick up the mixed metal stuff. They tend to sell pretty well for me. Again, these were $2.50, and they look like they're silver and brass. Thank you for getting down, Leia, and not – there goes all my breakables. At least I know she's, like, really careful. She's, you know, she's not heavy-footed or, like, swishing her tail to knock stuff over like Mimi does a lot. Okay, so – No, no, boys, you're welcome. Chris is in there. You can count him as a boy, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's two more of these glass rings. These glass rings, which are cool. I think I think they're really cool anyway. But those were a dollar. I was like, yeah, throw them all in there. And the guy did end up asking me if I'm a reseller because I bought a lot of stuff. Even with the buy one get one free, I ended up spending quite a quite a bit of money. Um, but I got some nice stuff. So. And I got these. These are plastic or else really thin metal. I think they're plastic, though. Um, but they're really, really lightweight, which is good because some people like lightweight earrings. Um, I do. I like, I find mixed metal stuff sells pretty well, for sure. So, and I liked, I kind of liked these for me, too. So, two bucks. That was good. Stay. Stay. Um, and again, here's another one, kind of the mixed. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Oh my, okay. I'm not even. I'm not even. Uh, I, 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 I provoked you though. I have to admit it. <laughs> okay, so these ones, honestly, they reminded me of uh, Paloma Picasso though. Um, Paloma Picasso, a lot of her jewelry has this kind of like really big X. And I did not take it off to see, but there are people who can't afford Paloma Picasso who like to get things that are similar you know what i mean research is research yeah totally <laughs> um so these ones are not paloma picasso but they are similar so i can't use that keyword so i just have to really make sure i describe them well so that somebody who might look for paloma picasso would find them they're really not these are like these are pretty lightweight too they're hollow the little X's and the little hoops are hollow. And then I got this bracelet again. They were buy one, get one free. This was two bucks. Um, <laughs> and this is just a cute little inlaid floral bracelet. And I thought this had a, oh yeah. And so this one's a Brighton. If you can see right in there, there's a stamp with a little cursive B. And that stands for Brighton. There are people who really like their Brighton jewelry. And I, I mean, not all of Brighton stuff is silver, but this one, I'm going to have to, it's tarnished. And when I rub at it, the tarnish rubs off. So I don't know. I don't think Brighton really does sterling stuff, though, do they? I don't know. Let's check it with magnet. Mm, it's not magnetic. But I don't see, I mean, I think they do maybe plate stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know that the tarnish is rubbing off. This might be one that I actually wrote, you know, clean the tarnish off of. Um, just because <clears throat> it might look better. Maybe. Um, yes, yes. The Oh, where is it? Because it's right here. Because guess what? I still haven't put the stuff away. Where did it go? Here it is. The mark. Mar Marjorie Bear. Yeah, and I just had another necklace from her a second ago. I don't know if you just got here. This is the one, the Marjorie Bear one from the other day, like so. Yeah, I think that's the one. Yeah, that's it. Um, like that. So, that is your. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So if I can list it on both, I will. Honestly, I've been playing with like leaving eBay, even though I know I probably won't. I keep thinking about it because I'm having trouble juggling everything. I am, you know, but not that it's that much more work to list on eBay and Etsy. I don't know. I just can't keep up with everything, and it's bumming me out. I want to do it all. Okay, so next I got this little really feminine necklace with the little flowers, and it's these faux pearls. And the reason also I got it was it is a brand called 1928, which many of you have probably seen or heard of. And they make um, like vintage revival style 
jewelry and there are people that really like it and collect it so again 350 and it um necklaces i want to get one free so did i finish answering the ebay etsy if it's vintage i'll list it on both for sure if it is if it is not i'll just list it on ebay see that's the thing what if i find something that's not vintage and i can't list it on ebay yeah for sure Oh, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Okay, so this one was $250, and it's a bracelet, kind of a link bracelet with little bows. Hang on, let me try to get it where you can see. Well, I'm going to put it on this hand where you can see it better. They're just little bows linked together, and I don't think I saw a maker's mark on this one. Wait, there's one. But I know there are people that like bow brooches. There are people that collect brooches that are bows and this oh this is a crown trifari okay we're good I couldn't really see it um, so if you can see there's a trifari and then right over the the T there's a little crown so crown trifari yay okay win win crown trifari I'm trying to save all my men's accessories for the end because I just dove in. They had like a whole box full of men's accessories and I just went nuts in it. I did. Okay, next up I got these pendants and I don't know exactly what he charged me for them. But I just thought it was very interesting. Let's open this thing up. How about that? This um, this is why I bought it. It's like some kind of resin. Somebody made it. But I just thought it was really weird and cool. So it's this weird resin that is got I don't even know glitter maybe some kind of glitter in there and then like this cameo it was just unusual and cert I just did I don't know I thought it was anyway and then there's this pendant which was just in there incidentally um yay Ravina's here yay <laughs> um Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> All right, then I got another cat. Again, I like to pick up the cat stuff. Brooch. It's got this unusual wavy bar. I don't know. And then the cats are hanging from it. There's three different cats like that. And that was three bucks. Again, I am not telling you what I think I'm going to list it for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to do another video where we have a listing party and I just do the research and list it as we go because I don't even know. Okay, I got this pendant. It just reminded me like Sun and Moon, which I think some people like, but it's got some abalone and like a sliver of Mother of Pearl. Let me take it out of this bag uh, also so you can see it. And it was $3.50, but I thought that somebody would enjoy it, you know. Someone, a hippie or something, somebody into the metaphysical, I don't know. And then I got a really pretty blingy brooch with these kind of citrine colors, these orangey yellow. And that was two bucks. And I don't think I saw a maker's mark on that. No. They get some nice jewelry at this place. I haven't found any like fine, fine jewelry, but they get nice costume jewelry. And they usually have a pretty good watch counter as well. Okay, we're almost ready for men's accessories. One more pair of earrings, which again, I like because they've got this hammered. Let me take it out. They tape the top of their baggies. So is the sun and moon sterling? That's a good question. I didn't see a mark on it. It looks like it could be. Now, where did I, like you saw my giant magnet wand. And what did I do? I lost it. Sitting right here. I'm checking my lap. I'm checking the table. It's not one of the things I threw, I don't think. Mm. I don't know where it went. Welcome to my day. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If I find it as we're sitting here, seriously, it's ginormous. It's a big wand. Mm, oh well. Okay. 
Um, yeah. Okay, I'm trying to fix this one earring so I can show it to you better. It's misbehaving here. I'll show you the other one. All right, so they look like this. They're kind of this hammered, almost a brutalist look. Not exactly. Kind of, I guess. I might throw that word in there. Because they're, I mean, the circles are not clean cut. They're kind of ragged and jagged. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's just one of those days. It may have fallen and rolled away. Yeah, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. If it went that way, I can't see it because the table's in the way. Okay, men's accessories. Here we go. Let's put this bag over here. I'm putting my loop right there. So, men's accessories. Uh, that was my, I say my gateway, my gateway piece into jewelry. Um, these were three bucks, and they have this kind of cord look, like so. And these ones. Ah, another reason I like it looking through the men's accessories is that um, they're not always looked at by other people or by the the you know thrift stop shops or garage sales, and you can find that that's one of the places you can find really nice stuff: gold, silver. Um, you know, I found James Avery cufflinks. I found. I mean, that's probably one of the my first big things was at a uh, garage sale. I found some gold and jade cufflinks and tie bar that sold for about 400 bucks. And then in another place, I found some cufflinks that I sold to the gold man for about that much too. So these were three bucks. I just thought they were pretty cool. They're inlaid. It's either wood. I think it's like little, I think it's like a little piece of wood inlaid in there. I think or leather. I don't know. Um, so there's those ones and you know sometimes the, the sometimes it doesn't really it, people look for a certain style you know I'm trying to get these back in the bag I want to take them out of the bag to show you and now I'll take them back in the bag yes. okay and then I got this which is just a mix of little tie tacks and tie bars and and it was two fifty for all of them, which was a good deal. So let's take a peek. They had a lot, so I really had to kind of control, control myself and narrow down. Hang on, I dropped one. Narrow down what I wanted to get. So that looks that looks like a military insignia or something. I don't know. Yes, yeah, so totally, I totally agree. Like, okay, here's one. This looks really nice. It looks like it could be a piece of. Um, oh. My brain just left. There's that. Um, Y'all help me. I can't think right now. There's that Irish jade. They call it Irish jade. They. Um, I think it's too dark for that. It's not jade. But as you see, like this is one that I might take a look at. Oh, there's a mark on it. So let's see what this little mark is. Airmen. Okay, cool. Um, uh, okay, that's, uh, I think that's a swing because there's like a shield and a little S in there. Smoky quartz. It's a green though. I don't know. Okay, so there's that. And then also in this bag, there's just like this kind of like, meh, it's okay. Um, there is this tight tech, which looks interesting, just different. Um, and then this little teeny short tie bar it is a tie bar. It's teeny tiny. Okay. And then these ones look like they might could match with the tie tack with that green. There is a name be like a green agate. Okay. Connemara marble. That's what I was thinking of, but I don't think that's what it is. Cause it's a that one could be, I mean, it looks similar to that, that kind of, Thank you for thinking of the word for me that I could not think of. Um, and again, here's another baggie of little tie tacks that they just, some of them looked kind of promising to me, you know, or different, like this green, like marbly one was cool. You know, something, because sometimes people, a lot of men, you know, if they want to wear a tie, that's their... I feel like I'm just stumbling over my words today, you know, to show their personality. 
Yeah, green jasper, there we go. Okay, this one's really pretty. So I'm pulling out some that were in this bag. But look at this one. This is a tie tack. Isn't that pretty? And I recently sold a tie tack that I found. Um, I think it was like 180 something bucks, but it, it looked like a little crown and it was gold and it had different little colored stones in it. And it's it's sold on Etsy. I got a really good review back on that one. Oh, what are you doing, Mimi? So that's a really pretty one. Um and I do, I mean, I've, I've had, you know, initial ones. This one's got the initials engraved in it. People will still still buy them because they have people with initials too. There's a foot. Hey, that's fun. It's like the bottom of a shoe right there. Okay, cool. All right, there's a few more in there, but I'm going to show you the rest of this stuff. 62 people. Go over there and hit thumbs up. Maybe Mimi will come over here and say, hey. You want to come say hey? Maybe no. Maybe no. Okay, and the money clips, I always pick them up if they're in good shape, that is. Um, if I don't know this stone, what keyword do I use? I just, um, I describe it as best I can, and then in the description, I'll put, you know, possibly blah, 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 you know, and, and just say, but not tested, not 100%, just so it kind of pulls those keywords as well. But I do make sure I say, if I'm not 100%, it's probably this, I think. That's generally what I do. All right, so yeah, I like, and I and I sell, um, they tend to sell pretty quickly for me too, money clips. So there's that one. It's got like a nice little mother of pearl inlay. And let's see, I showed you that. I showed you, no, I didn't show you these. Mm. <laughs> this one has a ginormous one in there. It's got a giant bling. I think that's probably why I bought this bag. Yeah, I think so. There's like a loose cuff link in there okay but I did want to talk about that's different okay I just realized that about some of these this was 250 for this bag I have to tear it because they taped it um adventuring is another one that is marbled yeah and and it's and I always ask in the groups too if I'm not sure so that's an interesting tie bar and then I wanted oh that one's kind of got vertigree okay you get to go See, it's got like bare degree, and so he has to go not near anything else. But this, okay, I have sold now. This one is a special one, it's got this on it, which is very unusual. I've not seen that before. But these are like shirt clips, collar clips. Is this for a woman's? I'm wondering if that's for a woman's collar because of that big gold dome on it but if pretend like it didn't have that on there these that look like this i've i've picked up three for 10 cents at one thrift store and i sell them for 20 bucks a piece they're collar clips i don't know if the market's tanked on them but they like that show mad men made them really popular yeah money clips oh it just kind of depends um depending on the, the condition and the subject matter i mean 20 bucks plus or so, maybe, depending on what, you know, condition and all that. I just realized this one's broken. Darn it. Oh, well. Okay, so I got this, and I got the mate, but apparently it's broken. That's fine. Didn't want it anyway. So I'll put it in a lot. It's fine. But there are a couple other. These ones, they kind of look like flash. And then some little mother of pearl ones. Those are cute. I'm looking for a mark on them. Oh, they don't. These do not. These do not match. Ah. Oh. See, they're two different sizes, and the backs are totally different. Ha. Huh. Okay. Then there are these kind of moonstone sort of ones. Oh, I always forget the name of that. These were three bucks as well. Give me a second and the word will come back to me. I always get fussed at from people when I can't think of it. They're like that cat's eye. They're not exactly cat's eye. They're, what do you call it? They call it moon glow, right? Is that what they call it? Moon glow. I can't keep straight all the names of stuff. I just can't. And that's okay. <laughs> and these are a pioneer brand, which is another brand of cufflinks and stuff. Okay, so that was the rest of the stuff we got from the other haul video. 
And I appreciate everybody coming to watch. And I know I'm kind of scattered today and the lighting's weird and the cats are weird. But I'm glad I did it. <laughs> I'm hoping, oh, school rings. Yeah, for sure. That, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm reading in the chat now. Okay, um, yeah, so I'm hoping that very soon, so hopefully starting next week, I can start doing some more tutorials again. I know things have been kind of off. Maybe tomorrow I'll come on and just do a, I used to do my Sunday like week in review and just chat about how things have been going and what my plans are. And so maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow I'll come back on and we'll just talk about how things have been because I haven't really gotten to do that much. Is cat's eye the same as quartz? I think maybe a tiger's eye. I'm not sure because I think this is totally man-made those blue ones yeah so it almost looks like uh, you see how there's like one little spot if you know um no my brain just left the star star sapphire that's what I was thinking of but this is not exactly like a star sapphire where it has that one little spot that goes around yeah okay Thank you for coming, you guys. Um, definitely. Oh, yeah, I'm hoping that this next Thursday I can. Um, I didn't want to burn out, and I didn't want to burn everybody else out by having it every week, but I'm happy to do it every week because I have enough stuff here for sure. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'll talk tomorrow about all the stuff that's been going on and what, what my – you know, and it helps motivate me too. Maybe it'll help motivate you guys if you're in the same boat as me. I don't know. So, okay, good, good, good. Oh, hey, we're in the book. <laughs> I, yeah, so I think tomorrow I'll just come chat. That'll be good. And we can talk and maybe that'll help motivate me because this room's a nightmare again. Okay. And if you are, right, exactly, Richard. My grandmother had a star ruby. My aunt got, my aunt got that, which I thought, thought was really nice. Um, I think it was a ruby. It was pink, you know, and it had like the little, kind of like a star sapphire, but it was a star ruby. Is that right? Anyway, I remember us talking about it when we were looking at her jewelry when she after she passed away. So anyway, that's, anyway. Um, yeah, so again, sorry things have been so kind of like ah, today, but tomorrow we'll come chalk chalk and chalk and and if you're interested I have another channel called homeschool honey where I talk about homeschool stuff that we do um, so you can find that link somewhere down below or on my main page and and I'd love to, to have you join us over there as well and I'll talk to you guys later yes big hugs hugs to everybody um yes yes thank you I'll see you later bye